Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you guys how to create a Windows 10 installer on a USB bootable flash drive. So stick around. Now you will need an empty flash drive for this and it has to be at least 8 gigabytes in size. So I have a much larger drive here, but it doesn't need to be this large. Now, very, very important. My flash drive is empty. My files are backed up. I'm good to go. This process will erase everything on this flash drive. So be sure to back up your data. During this process, if your flash drive is over 32 gigabytes, which mine is, this process will most likely resize your flash drive to be 32 gigabytes. Now at the end of the video, I will show you guys how to resize it back to its original capacity after you guys are finished with the Windows 10 install. Okay, so all we need to do, again, I have an empty flash drive. So I'm good to go, prepared for that. So go to this link, I'll put the link in the description below. But this is from uh, Microsoft officially, so just go ahead and download the tool now. So this is actually going to do everything in one step, so click yes for the process. So it's going to attempt to actually install Windows 10 now, but I'll show you guys what to do to actually make a bootable flash drive out of this thing. And this thing is awesome because Literally, it's just a few clicks and it makes the bootable flash drive and you're good to go. So I'm going to accept the terms and conditions. That's up to you. And it's just going to get things ready right now. In fact, I'll just minimize that and I'll probably just show that as well just so you guys can see what happens to that. Okay, so we're going to click on Create Installation Media and we're going to click Next. And I'm going to say Yes, Windows 10. I'm just going to check this, use the recommended options, next. So I'm going to select the USB flash drive option and the flash drive needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. Or you can make an ISO file and you could burn it on a DVD later on if you want, but it's just so much easier using a flash drive, so that's what I'm going to do. So with that selected, it's going to find the flash drive that's selected. If there was more than one, make sure you select the correct one because this will format everything. So again, make sure everything's backed up. So I selected that. There it is, folks. This thing is ready to use. You can see that now it's 32 gigabytes. Now you would take this flash drive, plug it inside the computer you're gonna install Windows 10 on, and select it as the boot device. After the successful installation of Windows, if you want to bring your flash drive back to its original state, this is how you would do it. So you would basically format it. And the way it works is actually, if your flash drive is 32 gigabytes or smaller, it probably didn't change in size. If that's the case, all you need to do is select the flash drive. Again, this is the bootable Windows installer. So if I want to get rid of this, so I would just right click on this and click format. And then I would select my file system, whether I want NTFS, which is usually designed just for Windows, or FAT32 or XFAT, which can actually work on both Windows and Mac OS. But depending on what I want, and then I would select default allocation size, and then you can also rename this and click start. This will erase everything on the flash drive. So even if you put additional files, it will erase those. So if you want to back stuff up, be sure to back it up before you click start. Now, in my case, my flash drive is larger than 32 gigabytes. So where did the extra space go and how do I bring it back? So if I try to click on capacity, you notice it says 32 gigabytes. I can't actually go larger than that, even though this flash drive physically is larger. So how do I bring that back? Well, all I need to do is click on Windows or hit Windows key on the keyboard and then type in disk which is going to take me to create and format hard disk partitions, which is really taking me to disk management. When I get here, I have a lot more options. Now, it's also very important to select the correct disk drive. So in my case, it's disk 2 or my E drive. And I know this because this is my E drive. These are the Windows installer files. I know it's my E drive. Also, I know this is the size of my flash drive because the, the other two drives are the two terabyte NVMe SSDs. So for a fact, I know it's disk two. Now in your case, it might be disk three, it might be disk one, it might be a different disk, and it might be a different letter here. So make sure you select the correct one 
otherwise you're going to be erasing stuff and it's not going to be good basically so I don't care what's inside this I know I'm gonna select the correct one and all I have to do is just right click on this click on delete volume when I do this it's gonna say hey are you sure you're gonna delete this partition it's gonna delete everything I'm gonna say yes I'm sure and once it does this it actually now gives me the full size so I would just then right click on this and then do new simple volume and then I would click next I select the largest size which it could take which it's by default click next I can assign it to F it doesn't really matter and then all I have to do I can also rename it to I could say I don't know flash drive or actually it's a Lexar so I could just say Lexar 128 gigabytes and it could be NTFS, it could be XFAT. If I wanted to work both on Mac OS and Windows, I would just do XFAT. And then I would tick to perform a quick format, otherwise this would actually take a pretty long time. So then I would click next, and then it says like, hey, you know, just confirm this stuff. And I'm like, yep, that's fine, I'm, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna erase this stuff, and then that's it. It's back to normal. So it came up, and you could see it's back to its original size and it's funny because if you now click on format it does show you its original size so there you go if you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching and if you guys have any questions or comments please leave in the comment sections below